Hello everybody, my name is Nody Lover and welcome to another episode of our football betting series here on YouTube, La Liga edition. As you can see from the three selections on the screen, we picked up from our form in October by having another negative week in Spain. We took Hirona against we took Bilbao to beat Hirona and that did not come through. Fortunately, Valladolid did beat Elche to spare some of our blushes. We picked up £8.80 there. And then we lost again as Mallorca beat Villarreal, another £20 hit. So we are a 33% win rate and a minus 31.20. So I think it's best for everyone involved if we get on for our couple of selections in this match week, this midweek fixtures in La Liga, which kick off very shortly, actually. At one of three, sees 17th place Sevilla hosting 7th place Real Sociedad. And Sevilla drew last time out against Real Betis, one goal apiece. This does mean that the side from Seville are now winless in each of their last three competitive matches. Sevilla have been surprisingly poor this year, averaging 0.9 goals per game from 1.5 key chances created. Defensively, 1.6 goals against, but just one clean sheet in 12 games. Part of this poor form has come at home as they are winless in six games with three ties and three defeats. And the visitors Sociedad have played at Valencia in a game that also finished one goal apiece. The blue and white have hit a bit of a rough patch and that's perhaps come from the Europa League effect. And I think they'll be pretty glad to see the break which the World Cup will bring after this match. Sociedad score 1.3 goals per game from 3.1 key chances created, so we're getting into the wasteful territory almost. Um, they're creating so many more chances than they're putting away, um, but that, that's going to come good at some point. Defensively, they do concede 1.3 goals per game. Sociedad are one of the top sides in the Liga away from home, with 4 wins and 2 defeats for 12 points from a possible 18. This does actually mean they have the third best record in La Liga. When we look at the head-to-head -head record, both games last year finished in draws, but I would argue that Sociedad are much improved from last year, where Sevilla are far worse. I'm not brave enough to back Sociedad outright, but I think there's a good case to lay Sevilla here in our opening bet. Next up, 11th place Valencia hosting 5th place Real Betis, and as touched upon, Valencia drew against Sociedad by one goal apiece. This does mean they are winless in their last 5 games, and they do score at 1.5 goals per game from 2.3 key chances created. Defence isn't actually that bad at 1.2 goals per game. The numbers look okay for Sevilla, but they do appear... The numbers look okay for Valencia, but they do appear to struggle in close game situations. The away side Betis drew against Sevilla last time out, which does mean they have stopped a streak of three games in a, three wins in a row, but that does mean that they are unbeaten in their last four. Betis score 1.3 goals per game from 2.1 key chances created. Their defence is much better than Valencia's though. 0.6 goals conceded per game with clean sheets in 50% of matches. When we look at the head-to-head -head record, Betis won both league games by a margin of seven goals to one. And Betis have a record of three straight wins over Valencia, unbeaten in each of their last five. Laying Valencia is the key for me here in bet number two. Our third and final selection sees 12th place Mallorca hosting 4th place Atletico Madrid. A Mallorca buster. Mallorca won against Villarreal by two goals to nil last game, which does mean they're now unbeaten in each of their last three. However, they do only score 0.8 goals per game from 1.9 key chances created. Defensively, they're not too bad, actually. 1.1 goals against per 90, so quite a lot of low-scoring affairs with Mallorca. Atletico did disappoint last time out as they did draw 1-1 against Espanyol and dropped down to fourth place in the table. This does mean that the Rocky Blancos have no win in their last four games, despite the fact they're scoring 1.5 goals per game from 2.3 key chances created. Defence isn't terrible, one goal per 90 is kind of what we would expect from an Atletico Madrid side. Head-to-head -head record, Mallorca took all six points from the Rocky Blancos last year, winning 2-1 away before a home 1-0 victory back in April. Across the two games, Atletico did have more shots and created more chances, but it was Mallorca who actually took their chances, scoring three goals from two clear-cut chances. Atletico, on the other hand, only managed to score one from five clear-cut chances created across the two games. If the visitors can work on their finishing, I fancy them to pick up a result on the road, especially when we see that Mallorca are one of the poorer sides in front of their home fans, and Atleti are the second-best side in the division on the travels. Atletico Madrid to win in a single for bet number three. Let's quickly jump across to the spreadsheet to have a little recap of the games that we have selected for this week. 
There we have it, three selections for us on the same day as we start things off with Sevilla versus Real Sociedad, laying Sevilla at odds of 0.61, £20 stake to return 12.20. One hour later, the Valencia Betis game kicks off, and we're going to be laying the home side Valencia at odds of 4 to 5, £20 stake to return 16. And Mallorca host Atletico Madrid in our final match, the late match at half past eight, odds of 1.16, £20 stake to return 23. 20. So across this midweek, we're going to be risking £60 sterling to hopefully try and pick up as much as 5140. Will we do so? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's to tune in to next episode. But if you did make it to this point in the video, please drop a like down below. My name's been Early Lover, and as always, have yourself a lovely day.